Welcome to Which is Better. Today I'm comparing the Cobalt Axe from Lowe's against the Pittsburgh Axe from Harbor Freight. Both axes look very similar and seem to be well constructed. Which is better though? Let's find out. But first, if you haven't subscribed, click on that button. I'm giving away an Amazon gift card to a subscriber this January and a tactical flashlight next month. If you haven't seen my tactical flashlight comparison, I'll leave a link at the end of this video. First, some basic measurements. The Cobalt is 34 inches or 86 centimeters. The Pittsburgh is about the same. The head height for the Cobalt is 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters, and the Pittsburgh is slightly larger at about 8 inches or 20 centimeters. The striking surface for the Pittsburgh is 6 inches or 15 centimeters, and the Cobalt is smaller at 5 inches or 13 centimeters. Let's take some measurements with my digital scale. The Pittsburgh is about 5 pounds 13 ounces or 2.6 kilograms. The Cobalt is slightly heavier at 6 pounds 5 ounces or 2.8 kilograms. It's time to put them to the test. I set up the spring loaded jig to strike a pressure treated pine log. I'll adjust the angle for each strike and hit the post 100 times for each axe. As you can see by the side-by-side -side comparison, the Pittsburgh axe on the right did a better job at removing more material for the same number of strikes to this post. Now I'll strike this metal bolt three times each. First up is the cobalt. I'm reset for the Pittsburgh now. The cobalt axe is $24 and the Pittsburgh is $19. They each have a strike guard to protect the handle in case of a miss. The head sizes are nearly the same, but the handles do feel differently. The Pittsburgh handle is slimmer, and for my hand, the Cobalt is more comfortable. Interestingly, the bolt strikes are noticeably different. The Pittsburgh on the right seems deeper than the Cobalt, but the real difference is the blade. There's hardly a mark on the Pittsburgh and it feels fairly sharp still. The Cobalt has noticeable damage during the bolt strike test and the blade doesn't feel as sharp either. The harder axe head on the Harbor Freight axe may be stronger, but that may make it more brittle and tougher to sharpen. On the other hand, the softer head on the Lowe's axe may mean it won't last as long and require frequent sharpening. So what do you think? Leave a comment below. Be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can be eligible to receive some of my giveaways. Thanks for watching.